Howdy y'all, time for another installment of my food journal. So, let's get right to it. So I'm going to do uh, the week from Wednesday the 26th until today, which is Wednesday, June the 1st. So let's just hop right in here. So Wednesday the 26th, it was hot and cloudy and muggy. It was in the 90s and very cloudy. Um, so this was a weigh-in Wednesday and my results were nothing. Uh, I just remained the same at 201.8 for the previous week. So what I had to eat on this day, I started with coffee at 11. At 3 p.m. I had some blackberries and whipped cream. At 6 p.m. I had coffee again. At 7.30, uh, let's see, meatballs with sugar-free barbecue sauce and some fried cabbage with bacon and green beans. And then coffee again at eight. So that put my totals uh, the total net carbs were 20 and total calories 1,290 and my journal entry for this day says that it was such a muggy day. The humidity must be near 100% so I stayed inside with the pack and cleaned the house. I've decided to participate in Chris's Just Do It in June challenge and wrote down all the weekday challenges. I think this will help push me under 200 pounds and I can't wait to see that one <laughs> back in Wonderland I'll get there okay so this was a week ago today so the next day Thursday uh, the 27th it was in the mid 90s it was hot and sunny and I started the day off at noon with coffee then at 3 o'clock I had a cheeseburger without a bun um, obviously a bacon burger because it had bacon on it so a bacon cheeseburger at 5 I had coffee at 6 I had coffee at 8 I had a little bit of a stir fry and listed the ingredients and some sugar free teriyaki sauce and then at 9 I had coffee again for a total net carbs of 13 and total calories of 1750 for this day and my journal entry says, went to Texarkana today and canceled my insurance. I'm so glad that's done now. Now I won't have to go over there once a month anymore. When I got home, the cats went out to play and Naboo got so hot that he was panting like a dog. <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, they all stretched out on the cool kitchen floor when they came in. Speaking of stretches, I've got some ideas for the yoga challenge. Okay, so moving on to Friday, this was the 28th, it was in the upper 80s and it was mostly cloudy and muggy again, the humidity has been super high. So I started this day at 11 o'clock with coffee, 5 coffee, and 7 I had a meal of meatball salad, ranch, a few pieces of pickled okra. And at 10 p.m., this was late for me, I had another meal of fried cabbage and then a snack or dessert of pecans and dark chocolate. Okay, I have a little side note here that says, this is the last of the chocolate. I shall buy no more, at least until I'm under 200 pounds for a while. Okay, so my totals for this day, the total net carbs were 16 and the total calories were 1,000. And 25. My journal entry for this day says, lovely day today, but wet from the storm last night. I was hoping to get some yard work done over the holiday weekend, but there is water everywhere. Maybe by Monday I'll be able to mow. The grass is growing like Naboo. <laughs> Looking forward to Slim being home for three days, maybe we can get time to get in the paint room which we didn't we we um it dried up and was sunny day so we worked in the yard the whole time um so saturday it was super sunny and super hot it was in the 90s very sunny i started this day at 11 with coffee two o'clock i had fried cabbage 
At four, I had coffee. At seven o'clock, I had pork chops and green beans. Then at eight, another coffee. And at nine, coffee again. Uh, here, I used half and half instead of cream because I had run out of cream, so that made a difference on the carbs. Oh, and I had forgot to add butter, but I, I added it in there. So the total net carbs were 15, and the total calories were 1,090. And my journal entry for today says, beautiful day today, and we took full advantage of it. We mowed the ditches and around the gate and the mailboxes. We repainted the trash bin. We filled in lots of potholes in the road and the driveway that were getting bad after all this rain. We plan to finish the yard tomorrow. It's still pretty wet, but if it doesn't rain tonight, I think we could do most of it with the riding mower, which will save lots of time and energy. Everything looks so nice down by the mailboxes where we were working. Okay, now on Sunday, it was again another beautiful day in the 70s. It wasn't too hot and it was sunny. At 11 o'clock, I had coffee. I was still out of cream, so I had half and half. And uh, at one, I had pork chops and green beans. At seven, this was, we went out. This was a meal we went out to, David Beer's Catfish King. And I ordered baked fish, and I had coleslaw, pinto beans, very little pinto beans, and some tartar sauce. And I'm pretty sure all my numbers are accurate, except possibly for the coleslaw. And I didn't have a lot, and I think that that's pretty close. Um, I'm sure it had at least a little bit of added sugar because it tasted sweet, and people do tend to sweeten their coleslaw, especially in the South. Okay, so 8 o'clock, coffee, and I had the real deal cream, so no carbs. And then at 9, coffee again. I have a little note here that says I bought some low-carb ice cream today to try instead of chocolate. And uh, the total net carbohydrates were 15 and the total calories were 1,045. So my journal entry for today says, very productive day today. Got the entire yard mowed. And you guys, that yard is like two and a half acres. It's a, like two and a half acres that we mow. So it took most of the day, but so glad we got that done. Afterward, we went out to eat and we did a little shopping. Slim needed some new wellies. That's rubber boots for anybody that doesn't know. <laughs> and we got more paint to finish the trash bin. Unfortunately, something, a deer most likely, ate all the leaves off my golden grapevine. So I got some pinwheels to stick around to deter them. I gave Slim a haircut also and uh, this was a very productive day <clears throat> so moving right along to Monday it was Memorial Day um, it was in the low 70s so nice and cool and it was cloudy so uh, I had a midnight snack some of that low carb ice cream I just couldn't resist trying it and I had bought the brand uh, Halo and it is the butter pecan flavor. Here, let me just show you really quick. Okay, so this is what I got. This is the Halo butter pecan low carb ice cream. And it's four net carbohydrates for this entire container, which of course I didn't eat that. So I got a couple of other options. This is a Carb Smart almond bar. It's like vanilla ice cream with thin chocolate and chips of almond on the outside. And it is five net carbs and 150 calories per bar. So I got those to try. And I got these to try. <clears throat> this is kind of like a fudge sickle and it has three carbs and 60 calories. So I got these because it's been so muggy and so hot and my husband wanted some of our very favorite ice cream. This is the best ice cream in the world to me. And he also wanted some ice cream sandwiches. The Bluebell 
ice cream sandwiches. We are really a big Blue Bell fan. So instead of being constantly tempted to have these lovely favorite treats of mine, I decided to just get some alternatives and try them. So that's what I did. And I really liked them. Um, they, they are good. I like both of them that I've tried. I haven't tried the fudge bars. Okay, so that was in the middle of the night, around midnight, I tried that ice cream. Then the next day, I had coffee and coffee at 11 and 1, scrambled eggs and bacon. It was scrambled eggs with cheese and some bacon that I had at 2. At 8 p.m., I had a hamburger steak with grilled mushrooms and asparagus. Got all the numbers down there. And then a coffee at 9. So a little side note here that I love the low-carb ice cream. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I do very much. And my totals for this day, even with the ice cream, were eight net carbohydrates and 1,940 calories. So my journal entry for this day says, had a restful day at home with Slim. We went out and picked up some sticks and burned up some stuff in two of the fire circles. Other than that, we just relaxed with the cats and watched movies and spent a couple hours work, and I spent a couple hours working on Belinda's blanket. It's not in time for her birthday, but I think she'll understand. Okay, so Tuesday, um, it was in the 70s. It was cloudy, and it was raining all on and off all day. And this was the first day of the Just Do It in June challenge. And for the challenge, it was today to do OMAD, or intermittent fasting, and to share a non-scale victory. So, since it was OMAD, I had nothing but coffee all day. Three times I had a coffee at 1, 3, and 6. And then at 8 p.m., I had my only meal. I had fried cabbage and avocado salad with an ice cream bar for dessert. So, I've got all the numbers here. Got it all added up. All the ingredients that were in the salad, all the ingredients that were in the fried cabbage, everything, avocado, bacon bits, cheese, I had a piece of pickled okra, ranch dressing. In the fried cabbage, there was some ground beef and some bacon, the cabbage, soy sauce, and then the numbers for the dessert ice cream bar. And I inverted my numbers, so the total net carbs are 17, and the total calories are 1,685. So my journal entry for today says, my non-scale victory was being able to crawl through the gate. <laughs> I shared it with a couple of friends, and I feel really happy about this. I also had only one meal today, so I completed both challenges for today. I'm not doing the 5,000 steps because I don't have a pedometer, but I'm going to do my best to complete all the other challenges in June. This has really helped motivate me to move more. Now, if only I could keep the deer out of my garden, then everything would be perfect. <laughs> okay, on to Wednesday. I haven't completed this day yet uh, because it's not over, so I don't have the weather. And I just have my coffee. I've had coffee quite twice today. So um, the Just Do It in June challenge for today is no snacks and do a plank. So um, I will be sure and do those things today. Here are my results for today's Wednesday weigh-in. I was down a full pound, which means I am less than a pound away from being under 200. So that is exciting for me. And that is my week in review of my food journal. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, y'all be sweet.